Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another vlog. I am like just really feeling vlogging again at the moment. So I thought we'd vlog today. It is Sunday for me. Just doing like a few odds and sods, running a few errands, that sort of thing. Leighton's at football at the moment. I'm going to get ready. I've got a couple of TikToks to film, so I'm going to do that. And then when he gets home, I think we're going to go to Primark. He needs to pick up a suitcase as we're going to Amsterdam in a couple of weeks. But he doesn't have like a carry-on, like small suitcase. So that was my excuse to get to go to Primark. And then probably going to get a McDonald's because I am slightly hungover to say the least like you know when you've just got a headache i just feel rough i need a mcdonald's and then probably take welly out it's quite a nice day so maybe a dog walk just a chill sunday these sorts of sundays just make me feel like content also i am trying to film on my camera i bought it last year used it once got annoyed at it never tried again so i thought I'll bring the camera back out. Let's try it. Enjoy the vlog, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and also go and follow me over on TikTok, please. I'm so active on there. I am ready for the day now. I did my makeup. I think I'm a bit more hungover than I thought. I had like this awful hangover wave earlier. I thought I was gonna throw up, but makeup's done. I just filmed a couple of TikToks that I needed to get done. This is like my setup. So I always have my ring light and phone there. Excuse the absolute state of this dressing room. It is atrocious, but I just wanted to update you guys TikTok's done. I'm all yours for the day now I'm just waiting for Leighton to get home from football and then we're gonna go to Primark Dog walk. It's a really nice day outside as well. So that should be nice But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update I just did a get dressed with me on TikTok and this was the outfit that I chose It's just a plain black tracksuit from sisters and seekers this is what I wanted to show you, my new trainers. I'm actually obsessed. I got them off ASOS. They're just New Balance. I feel like dad trainers are definitely in at the moment. Also, this is our bedroom. These are all clothes I'm selling on Vinted. So if you're after some new clothes, go and check out my Vinted. It's just Amy Bland. Right, Leighton's home from football. Did you win? Yeah. So now we're off to Primark. My favourite place. I was um, bed bound on the sofa for a good half an hour because my hangover was so bad. This is our son, Wooly. You all know Wooly. Um, we're going to Primark. What are we going to Primark for, Leighton? A suitcase. Where are we going? Primark. No, Amsterdam. Oh, Amsterdam. I was like, I'm confused on that. And so, yeah, we're going to go get a suitcase. I'm going to drag Leighton around the whole of Primark probably anyway because we're there, so we might as well. And then we're going to go get a McDonald's. You're not getting one though, Woody. Yeah. Why not? Because dogs can't have a McDonald's, so... Can you have a cheeseburger? No! He loves cheese and burgers. It's like a cheeseburger. Oh, he's so cute. No, he just wants to stay and cuddle. Look. Right, we're off. Let's go. Ready? Right. Kiss mummy. We're at my favourite place, McDonald's. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. Oh yeah, we've already been to Primark. Primark's done. So I managed to pick up loads of makeup, which when I went to Primark the other week, I tried to, but they didn't have much. So I picked up a bunch of Primark makeup and I'm going to do a TikTok on it. So make sure you go to my TikTok so you don't miss that. We did secure the suitcase. We've got a big one and a little one. And I did pick up like a few clothing bits. I got some pajamas, a t-shirt and like a underwear set. I will show you guys when we get home but I'm finally getting my McDonald's. I haven't had another hangover wave since that awful one earlier so I'm hoping the hangover is gone. We are at McDonald's if you can see. We are. But I don't know what I'm gonna get. No you could just take a photo that side. Oh yeah. We are at McDonald's. Oh the McSpicy's back. Mm -hmm. I don't no, know what to get. There. Here to stay. Oh, who even likes some spicy? I did. What are you gonna get? Big spicy. Today? Yeah. I don't know what to get. I might get a mayo chicken, no mayo, a plain cheeseburger, some chips, and what cheese bites is it at the moment? Do you know? No, not a clue. I only really like the cheese melt dippers and the halloumi fries. Oh, and the. Um, oh, and that one. What are the Mexican ones called? Nacho cheese bites. That's the one. They're good as well. But we're gonna order our food and I'll show you when I get it. We have secured the McDonald's. I'm so excited. They now do a savour meal. What is it? Mayo chicken savour meal, which is a mayo chicken, chips and a drink for 3 dollars which is literally my order anyway. So I got that, added cheese, 
Um, the lady gave us so many dips. I'll show you in a minute. I got a and cheeseburger straws. and chips. Yeah, she gave us five straws, and I literally am the only one that got a drink that needs a straw. What did you get? You got a McSpicy, and they did have McFlurry, so Leighton is very the happy. The first time is about You're seven occasions we've chuffed. been. But they didn't have the galaxy caramel one. I've got a mayo chicken, no mayo, add cheese, the best. Blech. Oh wait, and then I literally smother it in ketchup Blech. to make it better. Oh no, my cheeseburger's not plain. Hey, most you like it was meant to be a plain cheeseburger. I'll eat the stuff on the outside. Okay, promise. I've got to take my Invisalign out. I basically, I thought my Invisalign was done. Turns out I've got another 14 weeks. Actual lull at me. Good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Love it. Chips. You can have those like ones. Non -salted chips. They're not salted. They're actually not. It's a different flavour. What does it taste like? It's good flavour. That used to be a thing. No, it's dipping my milkshake all the time. Yeah, Emma said when she first met you, which was with her ex, that she knew you because you used to dip your chips at McDonald's in the um in your milkshakes. This is definitely going to sort my hangover out. Oh, so delicious. Just look at this. How stun. Gorgeous. Okay, this is how many dips she gave us. Was she feeling all right? They're normally so tight. So this isn't even all of them. This is all of them. That's just ridiculous. We don't need that many. So you get a ketchup. I do sometimes get bacon in it as well, but last time the bacon was really like stringy it put me off a bit you get the bun you smother the ketchup how was your mcflurry because you said you've been craving one of them yeah i think it's disappointing there's no sauce with it but other than that it's good so there's the ketchup i mean it might be a bit disgusting but let's give the burger a go mm. that's nice so good if you add cheese to anything it just makes it 10 times better and we're going for a walkies wow it's such a sunny day we have now collected welly and we're off for a walk his second walk of the sunday would you like to take him for two on sundays recently we went out to the pub last week didn't we we took him for a walk and then went to the pub he's our best friend in the world and then when we get home i'll give you a mini primark haul well, he does sit like this when we drive. I mean, it's probably not the best, but he likes to do that, so. He's got a seatbelt on, it's the farthest away he can go. Yeah, he does have a seatbelt on, but he does like to kind of lay like that. This is the view from the car. How absolutely stunned does that look? Sometimes I feel like we're lucky when we live here. And this little boy won't stop whinging. We're gonna go out. He does do this, he's very like needy. Right, she'll take him. Yep. Come on then, Bubba. This is just absolutely stunning. It does, however, feel very wintry. It's freezing. I'm so glad I put a coat on. Leighton didn't, and you're feeling it, aren't you? Welly is being really naughty. We're trying to walk him at different places because he's just got no manners on the lead. So we're trying to get him used to it. Now, see, he does listen sometimes. Cute. But yeah, it's absolutely freezing. There's the chapel, if any of you want some history. It's time for the mini Primark haul. Popped into Primark, obviously we got the suitcases for Leighton, but I somehow spent £75. Tell me how that happened, because I feel like it just happens. So first of all, I picked up these boyfriend pyjamas. They had so many colours of these, but you guys know, as you can tell, I love black. So I picked up these, they feel so soft. I did have some silk ones in my basket, but realistically, I don't find silk the comfiest. So I put them back and then I swapped them for these. These were £15, which I think is pretty good for some pyjamas. And then if you guys watched my Primark haul the other week, you'll see that I picked this t-shirt up in like a brownie, like beigey sort of colour. And I said, I wish they had it in black. Well, today they did have it in black. I did actually pick it up in a medium this time, just because I think the large was a bit too big. I don't actually have just a plain black oversized t-shirt, surprisingly. The last little like clothing that I got was just this ribbed black 
bra set i actually do have this already but i live in it i honestly love these they are so comfy they're only six pounds as well they had so many colors but as you know i've just realized everything i've got so far is black now for all like the bits but they sure did add up i picked up two packs of the gray and black headbands these are just in at the moment everyone's wearing them and they were a pound each for two i then picked up this hairbrush primark's beauty range is unfreaking real at the moment i could have honestly bought so so much more but i picked up this super smooth paddle brush it's got like brushes on and also bristles i don't know if you can see and obviously you guys know i'm really trying to look after my hair so i picked that up and then i got myself a three pack of microfiber facial cleansing cloth i do already have loads of these but you can't have too many especially i'm really trying to move away from makeup wipes so i just thought i would stock up on these they're really cheap as well it's three pound for three a lint roller this is like a boring adult purchase but you can never have too many of these they're just really handy to have i then got a bath bomb not much to say about this i just really fancied having a bath with like a really nice bath bomb it smells unreal as well and it's got like crystals in i mean this is like screaming thrush to me however i really want a nice bath i then got some like facial cotton pads these are the really big ones everyone raves about so i thought i would jump on the hype now we're on to the makeup i did say i will do a video on tiktok of testing all of this makeup i'm gonna do a full face of primark makeup so be sure to check that out first of all i picked up the flawless glow this is meant to be like the charlotte tilbury dupe i picked it up in the color caramel they did actually have loads of shades this time whereas they didn't the other day i'm hoping this is going to be like a good color match i don't know if you guys can see but it looks unreal and then i picked up this tinted moisturizer this was five pounds i mean that is quite pricey for primark but i really want to try all their makeup as everyone is raving about it i picked this up in the color five i believe i hope it's like the right sort of color this is again another charlotte tilbury dupe this was the cream bronzer i picked it up in the color medium to dark this was four pound fifty again on the pricey side for Primark. And then I got a cream blusher in the colour peach. This was £3.50. I did want to get the Charlotte Tilbury dupe of the blush, but they didn't have it. So I got this cream blusher. Got this concealer. This is also giving me like Charlotte Tilbury or like Maybelline dupe. I don't know if you can see like the applicator at the top. I picked this up in the colour sand. It was £3. Last few bits are this baking powder. This is in the colour translucent. Love a translucent powder. Three pounds. If it's good, it'll be worth it. A blush in true peach. They didn't really have much colour options, so I've gone for peaches. I don't usually go for peaches. This was one pound fifty. And then the last thing that I picked up was it's a foundation pressed powder, but it's in the colour chestnut. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's like a really dark shade. So I'm hoping I can use it as a bronzer as they didn't have any bronzers. And we're back in the same position and looking the same as how I started this video. I have just taken my makeup off and I made a TikTok using this. It's the Inky List eye cleansing balm i've seen it all over tiktok all the influencers talk about it so i wanted to try it out me being that easily influenced and you know what i actually rate it i understand why they rave about it and i actually thought this was a really nice product not an ad or anything i literally brought this myself but yeah i really liked it um but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here just because it's about six o'clock now we're probably just gonna lay on the sofa and chill before work tomorrow so there won't be much more for me to vlog but thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you did enjoy let me know if you prefer this style of video if you think it's better with my camera just let me know any comments are appreciated but yeah be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next week for a brand new video bye guys